Hi guys, so let's talk about some of the real-world applications of Barry Harris's sixth diminished scale. Um, if you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend you go back and watch it, otherwise you're going to be kind of confused with this. So I think one of the easiest ways to start using uh, this concept is if you're trying to harmonize just a melody line. So I'm going to take the melody for the standard There Will Never Be Another You that goes like this. That melody, if you're familiar with it. Now, again, just to reiterate uh, from a previous video, the main type of chord that I think and that Barry Harris thinks we should be concerned with when we're playing is a sixth chord. Because fundamentally, when we look at the different chord types in jazz, a sixth chord it tends to be the root of it. So for instance, let's say I take a C uh, major seventh chord. If you watch the video about the sixth diminished scale, you'll know that it's a sixth chord combined with a fully diminished seventh chord. So here are the four notes of our sixth chord, and here are the four notes of our fully diminished seventh chord. So if you look at a, what most people call a major seventh chord, fundamentally, according to this way of thinking, that's really just a sixth chord with one diminished note. Because that chord could easily just be something like this where you've got two diminished notes and they want to move somewhere. Barry Harris describes this as when you, when you play diminished notes, they say, move me somewhere. You know. So let's look at the other chord qualities. Um, let's say we've got a minor seven. There's C minor 7, but fundamentally it's E flat major 6. A major triad with a 6. Exact same four notes. What about a half diminished? There's A half diminished, but really what that is, is C minor 6. It's the exact same four notes, right? And the um, in this video, we're going to talk about how it's easy to harmonize just the, the plain Jane melody of a tune or whatever tune you're working on. When we think in terms of six chords, it makes it so much easier. Or when we think of the six diminished scale and six chords, it makes things so much easier. So let's take the melody of There Will Never Be Another You. <laughs> If we take the opening line, because the tune is in E flat major, right? All of those notes are found in E flat major, but they're also all notes that are found on the E flat major 6 diminished scale. So remember, we've got our 6th chord combined with a full diminished 7, and our 6th diminished scale is just a, a major scale, but with that half step in between 6 and 5. So, really what you can do to start off with is to play that melody, but just doing it with one hand using inversions of 6th chords and diminished chords. That's all this first step is going to be. So I can play that melody using entirely the sixth diminished scale. And all I'm going to do here is take whatever note the melody or whatever note the melody is on, I'm going to make that the top voice in my sixth chord. So I'm going to start here. I was just using the sixth diminished scale. But I outlined the melody. And then there's the next chord of the tune. So where
where can I go from there? If I want to orchestrate it in such a way to where it sounds um, a bit more harmonically powerful, use that drop two concept I talked about in the previous video, where if you take any chord, let's say it's this, uh, this chord, so E flat major six or C minor seven, whatever way you want to think of it, and you take the voices from the top down and you label them with numbers. So it would be one, two, three, and four. And if you drop two, you take that second note and you drop it down an octave. And you can do the six diminished scale in this format too. So what if we played the melody like that using drop two, but we're using the sixth diminished scale? It would look something like this. And even if I kept going, that could still work, because the next chord change is in There Will Never Be Another You, it goes E flat major, 7, right? And then it goes D, half diminished, into G, 7, and then it goes into C minor. But you know that a minor 7th chord is really, from a harmonic and from a harmonic instrument perspective, it's the exact same as E flat major 6, so we can use the same 6th diminished scale to outline it. So... So that's just to give you a little bit of an idea of how you can harmonize just a simple melody using the sixth diminished scale. So let's say if you're a piano player or a guitar player and you're playing in a group that doesn't have a horn section and you want to play the melody to a tune. I think we can both agree that it's way more interesting to play the melody like this. Instead of just punching, you know, single notes with your right hand and just comping down here. You know, it's not that one isn't wrong or right. It's just one seems to be more effective than the other, if you get what I'm saying. So take that concept and see if you can apply the, the sixth diminished scale to harmonize the melodies of tunes that you're working on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.